something smells. What is this terrible stench? That smells familiar. That's Oda's seduction. That means Dex is here. This is bad. She's not waking up. Alice, Alice, my darling, your dear Dex is here. Now open your eyes for me. I'm surprised she hasn't come to yet. Your cologne could wake the dead. <laughs> You're entranced by my alluring scent as well. However, I am pledged to my darling Alice. Dex? You came just in time. This girl broke my fall. Can you use healing arts to help her? Marta? But Richter killed you. Just a minute. You know Richter? Are you guys friends with that creep? Sheena, those two are both members of the Vanguard! Ow! What the...? Alice, my darling, it's your prince, Dex. What the...? Why is Double Dex here? Ugh! Get away from me, you reek! Mart Mart? Why are you still alive? What, Richter failed? Yes, my dearest Alice. And after all that trouble I went to, transforming to lure Marta away from her friends. Daddy! You... That was nothing but a disguise! Sheena, is that similar to your ninja technique? No. Even the most advanced techniques of the Igaguri style involve some sort of trick or device. Well, well. Guess I'll just have to take care of little Mart Mart myself. I can't wait to see the look on Richter's face when I tell him. Let me help, my dearest Alice. Dex, you stink. Stay away from me. Now then, be a good girl and say your prayers before I send you off to heaven. Not so fast, Celsius! This ice wall won't hold forever! Let's get out of here while we still can! Does anyone else smell that? Yeah, something sure stinks. It smells like an attempt to take a masculine fragrance and strengthen it to ludicrous levels. I think it's coming from Emil. What? It's not me. It's this Odess Seduction stuff that guy Dex forced on me. Odess Seduction? You put that stuff on? That's so creepy! Well, I mean... My apologies. I believe that is one of my company's products. What? I'll send an order to the factory to halt production immediately. This odor is a menace. Just what sort of corporation is the Lazareno Group anyway? You really have a knack for falling into pits, Sheena. Hey, it's not like I threw myself down that thing for the fun of it. By the time I realized that hole was there, it was already too late. I thought it might just be part of your destiny as a descendant of the Fujibayashi line. Very funny. Besides, what kind of crummy destiny would involve falling into holes? Well, your ancestry could have a long history of falling into life's pitfalls. <sighs> Was anyone surprised? 
Guess you want to die. <laughs> 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 and Dex. Looks like it. And Richter, too. Emil. I wonder if Richter had anything to do with the kidnapping of that shopkeeper. He certainly has a roundabout way of doing things. Remember, he said something along the lines of not wanting Emil to see him kill Marta. Oh, is 
the real shopkeeper, all right? Of course. My scouts should be escorting him back to town as we speak. Thank God. Why do humans have this tendency to stop and talk? Need I remind you that we are currently being pursued? Come to think of it, I've been meaning to ask. What the hell are you? A summon spirit or something? I'm a Centurion. I'd be more than happy to discuss it with you in detail once we get away from here. Are all Centurions as moody as you? to high heaven. Yes, that was his Otis seduction. Sorry to interrupt this fascinating discussion, but if it continues much longer, our enemies are bound to catch up with us. Oh, okay, I get it. Y you want us to stop talking, right? Exactly. I hereby proclaim a ban on speaking. <sighs> I can't stand it. I just can't be so quiet for this long. Excuse me if I'm mistaken, but as your profession is akin to that of a spy, I'd imagine that silence would occasionally be essential in your line of work? You sure talk a lot for a dog. I am not a dog, I'm a centurion. We centurions are not summon spirits, nor are we animals, but rather... Shh. If we keep yapping like this, we'll get caught. But... Speaking ban in effect. My, my, this is wonderful. If only we could travel this quietly all the Quiet! Right. Oh, right. My apologies. We'd never get out of there. It's just been one thing after another. The whole situation has become quite an ordeal. Hey, Regal. How'd you end up with these kids anyway? Well, you see. Lloyd was responsible for that attack? No way. I can't believe it. But if Lloyd's being affected by the Centurion's core... It's not unthinkable. I suppose it's possible, but still. Uh! I give up. There's no point in idle speculation. Rain and Genus are following Lloyd right now? Uh, yes. Then I'm going with you. Huh? If something's the matter with Lloyd, maybe I can be the one to smack some sense back into him. And if I go with you, there's a chance we'll run into him, right? Well, yes, I suppose so. All right, then it's set. You mind? No. Yeah, welcome to the group. Great, now that that's settled, let's visit the Flanor Accessory Shop. 
We've got to find out where Glockius's core went. Yes, let's go. Let's get rid of them quickly. against me. It's been far too long. That's for sure. The last time we met was... At the unveiling of Hosette's restoration plan. Right, that's it. Were you on some kind of mission in Flanor? No, I didn't have any official business to attend to. Hmm? I was looking for Lloyd and just happened to be there when Flanor came under attack. You've been looking for him as well. Aren't you worried about him? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, nothing. Huh? Emile, Lady Marta is indicating she is happy. Yeah, but about what? She is pleased you were genuinely concerned for her welfare. But that was... As a man, you must now take responsibility. Huh? Those who carelessly spark false hope in a young lady's heart are doomed to scorn and resentment. Who said I was trying to do anything like that? <laughs> The world tends to side with young ladies. I urge you to proceed with caution. Tenebrae, you managed to surpass spiteful and graduate straight to malicious. Chief, we flushed out all the Vanguard members that were holed up in this house. Chief? Who's Chief? Sheena is one of the Mizuho. They're a secret group that serves the Tetha Alan royal family. Perhaps you've heard of them? I have. They're experts in intelligence gathering and combat. That's us! Experts? You're joking, right? What's that supposed to mean? You little... I trust the family's unharmed. Of course. Good work. The real accessory shop owner is inside. I'm glad he's safe. Come on, let's go talk to him. Right.
Oh, it's you! There you are. Thank goodness you're safe. When the Vanguard took me, I thought I was done for. Anyway, thank you. I owe you my life. Don't mention it. There's actually something we'd like to ask you, if you don't mind. We heard you discovered a strange jewel near the cave with the Celsius's tears. Ah, yes. Uh, Glacius, or uh, whatever it's called. My son took it to Mount Tokyo. He said he was gonna try to sell it to some nobles there or something. And I thought he'd finally come to spend some quality time with his old man. <sighs> Aw, oh, don't be so glum. I'll come back to visit you again soon. Mel Tokyo. We better hurry, or who knows what'll happen. Yes, we need to set out for Mel Tokyo as soon as possible. Allow me to prepare my company's high-speed transport. Thank you. This is Mel Tokyo? It's huge! Is this your first time here? Uh, yes ma'am, it is. I should have said something earlier, but just drop the formalities. That kind of thing makes me itch. Yes ma- I mean, okay. I hope Glaucius's core is still here. Regal and I both know this town like the back of our hands. I'm sure we'll find it. Let's pay a visit to the item shop first. All right. Well, Tokyo is so huge. I bet you could get lost here pretty easily. This was the capital of Tefaala when the world was still divided in two. So both people and goods gather here. Ugh. It's no wonder that people in Tethaala look down on us. Marta? No town in Silverant can even come close to this size. We don't even have a leader to unite the people as a proper country. But Silverant was ravaged by the Desions. The prosperity we Tethaalans have enjoyed was at the expense of your people. If anything, we should be making every effort to repay what we've taken from you. Please forgive us. Oh, that's not what I meant. I wasn't blaming the Tethaalans. I was just thinking we're going to have to build a city to equal Mel Tokyo ourselves. You're amazing, Marta. Hey, you're Silver Auntie too, so we're in this together. Right.
Wasn't that Tokunaga? It certainly looked like him. Someone you know? Yes, the Chosen of Tetha'ala lives in this city, and... Selos. Oh, right. You met him in Palma Costa? Yes, you said you did. Anyway, the man you just saw is a butler to the Chosen's sister, Celis. Really? Maybe he's running errands for her, then. Yeah, probably. All right, let's go inside and talk to the shopkeeper. What can I do for you? Um, we're looking for a rare jewel that was found in Flanor. Did anyone bring anything like that here? Ah, uh, I know the item you're talking about. Someone brought it then? They sure did, but I already sold it. Who did you sell it to? Sorry, I can't tell you. Customer confidentiality and all that. You understand, don't you? What do you mean? Merchants are bound to keep their customers' information private, especially where high-priced items such as jewels are concerned. If the wrong people found out who possesses such a priceless item, the buyer could become a target for theft. It's just as the gentleman here says. Sorry, I can't help you. But it's not just the person who bought it who'd be in trouble. The whole city would be in danger. I have an idea. How about we go and ask His Majesty? His Majesty? The King? Why? Most of the customers for fine jewels are members of the nobility. And they tend to show off their latest purchases. I see. We'll hobnob with the local aristocracy and find out which one has Glaucius's core. Good idea, Regal. You never cease to amaze me. A duke and a scholar to boot. Regal, you're a duke? I suppose I forgot to mention it. This is the first I've heard of it. Wow. President of a huge company and a duke, too. Amazing. I may have titles and rank, but under all that, I'm still flesh and blood like you. All right, let's get going to the castle. All of Lloyd's friends are really amazing people. It makes me wonder about the Lloyd that they believe in. If it wasn't for the Centurion's Corps, Maybe he'd even be an okay guy. Yeah, maybe.
if it isn't my slippery little friends from Flanor. Give up, Alice. You lost. Oh, I don't think so. I've rigged the little darling with a special collar that self-destructs if he gets defeated. Pretty clever, if I say so myself. Wh what the hell? Bye-bye, Mart Mart. I'll be sure to let Commander Brute know that you're dead. <laughs> let go of him right now. I'll handle this. Me. 
What should we do? Allow me. Servant of darkness, bend to my will. not dead, is he? <sighs> he can't be. It... It's just like what happened with Corinne. This is the reason why I should be the one in control! Emil? Don't worry. The Centurion told me that Tenebrae is only asleep. I'm gonna go after him. What do you mean, go after him? Where? The Temple of Darkness. If it's the same as the other Centurions we've encountered, then there should be an entrance to the altar in there. That's where we'll find Tenebrae! Now I understand. I'll go with you. What about you, Regal? I'll meet with His Majesty and advise him on the situation with Glacius's core first. After that, I'll follow you. Whatever. All right, then we'll meet you there. Centurions are such mysterious creatures. You got that right. I mean, they just return to their altars when they're injured. Actually, when they are inflicted with so much damage that they revert to their core state, they're supposed to return to Raditosk himself. Then Tenebrae is with me? But Raditosk is also currently in core form, without his powers. He doesn't have the strength to heal the Centurions. So Tenebrae returned to his altar. Or at least that's what they said. You mean the other Centurions? Yeah. Wait, so if Ratatosk wasn't taking his nap, there'd be no need to go to the Temple of Darkness? If Ratatosk was awake, we wouldn't be on this journey in the first place. Oh, right. <laughs> Hey, do you think Tenebrae is really okay? Yeah. He's just changed back into a core, right? He's not dead or anything, right? No, he's not dead! You don't have to yell at me, you know! <laughs> Sorry. A Centurion can always be revived as long as their mana source doesn't dry up. They're like summon spirits in that way. The Centurions say it's not a question of his being alive or dead. Okay, I get it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't panic just because I don't understand. No. I like you better angry than meek and apologetic. <laughs> Emil in Ratatosk mode tells it straight like a man.
I can feel Tenebrae's presence. Really? It's bright enough to see in here without the blue candle. Must be because Shadow's gone. Candle. When Shadow was in this temple, it was pitch black. Without it, we couldn't see a thing. Who cares? Let's go. You know, I'm finding it pretty difficult to warm up to a meal in Ratatosk mode. Sheena. Right, sorry. I know he is Emil. But anyway, come on, let's go. I guess it makes sense that the Temple of Darkness would be so dark. Are you scared? N not scared, exactly. Dark places always make you wonder what might be hiding in them. There isn't much that scares me, though, thanks to all the training I've been through. Sheena, there's something on your back. Ah! What? What is it? It, it was just a cobweb. Oh, co cobwebs, right. Don't startle me like that. That's some training. Damn, Alice. How could she do this to Tenebrae? Next time I see her, I'm gonna tie her up and toss her butt into Flannor Harbor. <laughs> You're too soft. I'd sling a rope around her and hang her from the tops of the Fuji Mountains. I understand how you both feel, but I can't say I approve of your choice of words. Harsh words are evidence of troubled minds. Okay then, the next time I have the pleasure of a rendezvous with Lady Alice, I would truly enjoy the opportunity to politely wrap her up with ropes and kindly submerge her in the beautiful waters of Flannor Harbor. <sighs> <sighs> Say your prayers. Too easy. against me. Wait! 
Damn it! I have no idea where the core is without Tenebrae. Too bad the other Centurions don't talk to us the way that Tenebrae does. Bunch of useless twits. By the way, Emil, you've been in Ratatosk mode for a while now. Something wrong with that? Not wrong, really, just... Shh, be quiet. What is it? I hear voices from inside. It just looks like a normal wall. Maybe the sorcerer's ring will open this one, too. Doesn't look like it. There must be a switch somewhere else. Damn it! What's with this hidden door crap? When I find it, I'm smashing it to pieces! Emil, humans have a saying. A wise head makes a closed mouth. And what's that supposed to mean? Uh, I'm not sure. Placing the control mechanism for a secret door adjacent to that door would be of little value. This can only mean that the switch is in a remote location. Oh, I see. But you're using that wrong. My apologies. And what's with the impression of Tenebrae anyway? I miss him. Then we'd better stop wasting time and find the real thing. Yeah. I guess you want to die. Won't work!
You're gonna regret this. Oh, healing power. <laughs> Watch this. First aid. <laughs> Should have never gone against me.
course I won. Tenebrae's really here. Don't worry, Marta. 
The other Centurions told us that Tenebrae would be here. I'm sure he is. Okay. Relax. I can sense his presence. Really? Yes, trust me. I'm your guardian, a knight of Ratatos. Yeah. Emil, you sure say some manly things when you're in Ratatosk mode. Shut up! I won. <laughs> 